Hello, my name is Johannes Pitschigoda and this is Silhouette 1, my synthesizer. Looking at Silhouette for the first time, there are four things you'll notice. A light table, a camera, a monitor display and a controller mounted in front of the monitor. The light table, the camera and the monitor display, this is my optical soundtrack. Optical sound is a technology that was used in the past on 16mm and 35mm film on an optical soundtrack to record and playback the sound for the movie. When I move my hand on the light table, I see the hand on the monitor display and underneath the real-time generated audio wave. I can also use templates. I can change the area that's used to transform visuals into audio. This rectangle shows the selection area. The flatter the area, the less optical data being read. I can load my own picture files too. Visual effects like brightness or mosaics manipulate the sound. I can fade between two picture files. The wider the selection area, the more complex the generated audio wave. I can move the selection area around as well. And the movement is being modulated. Silhouette 1 uses generated waves for audio and modulation. With the touch of a button, you can save the generated waveform to the desktop. The modulation waveforms are driven by LFOs and envelope generators. Now I'm going to generate a few modulation waveforms with a light table. Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3. I set the LFOs to mathematical, rhythmical relations. The first tempo is 25 bpm, the second double, the third fourfold, and the fourth is a third of the first. Now I drive a modulation wave using an LFO modulating the selection area. Vibrato, low pass filter, reverb, mosaic effect, generating sequences. This special controller has 20 knobs and 20 buttons mounted on a plexiglass pane flat above the surface of the left part of the monitor. The controller addresses four pages. The parameter settings are shown around the knobs and the buttons. On the first page you can access the main sound and video parameters and on the second page the corresponding modulation parameters. On the third page you will find the LFOs, the envelope generators and a sequencer unit. On the fourth page you get a reverb, a mixer, the load and save functions and a wave editor. You can scroll through each frame of a movie file. Moving the bright and dark regions creates rhythmic sounds. Also the movie file is driven by an LFO or envelope generator and a modulation wave. Here I'm adjusting the start position and the frame length. The mosaic effect creates wonderful overtone structures. Irregular modulation waves turn vibrato effects into extreme sequences. Silhouette 1 has a wave editor. Wave quantize.
Wave Preset. Preset Quantize. Hand Drawing. Now I'm adding a low pass filter modulation. High pass filter. Reverb. The visual material that is used for sound synthesis can be used for a performance, so you can also connect a beamer to Silhouette 1. LFOs and modulation waves can be synchronized with external devices, like sequencers or computers. And Silhouette can transfer its modulation data to external devices via MIDI. To wrap things up, here are a few technical details of this prototype. Audio, video and controlling are done inside a Mac Mini computer in the chassis on the left side. The computer runs the open source programming language Pure Data, which is the platform for the Silhouette software. The software transforms the visual data into audio and modulation data. The knobs and buttons on the plexiglass controller are handled by an Arduino board and transmitted to the computer. This also connects the MIDI keyboard, MIDI in and out, audio out and the webcam.